Welcome to another episode of Life Lifters with Win Victory Ministries. I'm Dr. Vivian P.A. Mack. Our Father, who art in heaven, we pray your blessings on this episode, Lord. We pray your blessings upon each viewer. And we thank you, Father, that they're going to get something to help lift their lives. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The life lifter today is, yes, the results are in. The verdict is out. God, you are the Father. There are several television programs, some being actual court cases, where the mother of the child comes to get an answer to the question, who is my baby's daddy? DNA and blood testing are done to determine the father of a child. DNA is scientifically called deoxyribonucleic acid and is the hereditary material of life and has a genetic code that contains all of the information about you. It determines your eye color, hazel eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, black eyes. It determines hair color and the texture of your hair. It determines skin color. It also determines whether you have attached or unattached earlobes. Whether you have, like I do, a hitchhiker's thumb or a regular thumb. It determines your height and so many other characteristics about you. Have you ever heard it said that you are a one of a kind? Yes, you are. You are a designer's original. So, since you are, no one is exactly like you. Not twins, triplets, or any other. Let me give you a little science sidebar. In the nucleus of every cell of your body, there is called a genome, which is a complete set of DNA. The genome contains over 3 billion DNA pairs encoded with all of the information about you. I said before, you are a designer's original. I know a mother definitely knows her child because she carried you some nine months and endured the labor to birth you into this world. But sometimes, because of certain circumstances, a father may not know. That is why on some television shows, you will hear the verdict read that says you are not the father. And generally, another round of DNA testing is done to determine fatherhood. The life lifter today is that our spiritual daddy knows us. God knows his children. Psalm 139 tells us that God says, I foreknew you. God said, I formed you in your inward parts. He even goes on to say that he covered you in your mother's womb. In fact, that scripture tells us that you and I have been fearfully and wonderfully made. We are made in God's image and in his likeness. When you see me and when I see you, we should see these images and we should see the likenesses because they are like our daddy, our father, God. We should resemble our elder brother, Jesus. 
when people see us, they should say, that's God's child. Or they should say, there is another one of those Christians or Christ believers. If you are not born again, you are none of his. And the word says that you are of your father, the devil. Remember, I said scientifically that we have genomes in every cell to determine everything about us. So I've coined this made-up term, God knowns, meaning God's DNA. Those of us who are born again are born of the Spirit. Each of our cells will have God knowns that will carry the characteristics of our Heavenly Father. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 16 and verse 20, we are told, and the Bible does record this, that people will know us by our fruit. It has been said that fruit does not fall far from the tree. What does that mean? That means that we carry those characteristics, those likenesses, the image of our Father. It means that we look like, act like, talk like, walk like our Father. And so, let the fruit be shown and let the fruit be known. Christian, show your Galatians 5, 22 and 23 fruit. Drop some love everywhere you go. Love is one of those wonderful characteristics. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Jesus so loved the world that he allowed himself to die on a cross that we might become the sons and daughters of Almighty God. I want you to drop some love. But also, there are other, another eight fruit. You need to leave some joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Let your parental identity be shown. Let your parental identity be known. Walk like your father. Talk like your father. God is your father. He is the father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But by the spirit of adoption, if you are a born again Christian, he is your father. He is my father. By the blood of Jesus, God is our father and the father of so many others who have confessed Jesus as their Lord and their Savior. He will be a father to the fatherless and even be your father. I came to tell you today, let this life lifter help you to live a victorious life. If you want to find out how and want to find out more, come and worship with us. Call me. I am again Apostle Dr. Vivian Mack, pastor of Wing Victory Ministries. You can contact me with this telephone number, 410-967-6233. Zero. Come worship with Win Victory Ministries. When? Sundays. Where? Howard Johnson Hotel, located at 407 Reisterstown Road in Pikesville, Maryland, 21208. We worship between the hours of 1 and 3. Come out for Gabs night. We have Gab's night, 7.30 to approximately 8.45. And on Friday night, we have Friday Reckon, reading, expounding, praying, 
7.30 to again approximately 8.45. Call me and come worship with Wynn. Wynn Victory Ministries has a number of ministries to the, to the homeless, ministries that will help you grow, ministries for clergy leadership, and so many others, nursing home ministry, and so many others. But this month in particular, and next month, we are really pumping up our Fishes of Men ministry. Sister Jackie Freeland with the Fishes of Men ministry is going to continue to coordinate that ministry. We're going under the bridge to feed the homeless. And we would like to have 100 hats for the homeless. Do you know how to crochet? Would you like to learn how to crochet? Because she also heads up our crochet ministry. We would like for you to either donate crocheted hats, come and help us crochet some hats, and you may contact Sister Jackie Freeland. 443-956-8716. Again, 443-956-8716. We love you. God loves you. And we hope that this life lifter has blessed you today. Come worship with Wynn and really know that God is your father. God bless you. See you next week.